so i have a channel called tech upfront which is the channel that i are currently on so please subscribe because this channel got 52 views and i have five subscribers and has and i have five subscribers i do fundamental challenges i have some tutorials please subscribe and smash that like button so let's get on how to upload videos to firebase storage so the first thing you want to do if you want to upload files to firebase storage is come to firebase or google.com firebase or google.com don't click on get started actually click on i'm going to you don't actually have to do this one actually it's just I'm just switching account. So make Firebase is sales by Google. Make sure you have a Google account. Or if you don't have a Google account, you won't see this go to console button. This is sales by Google, but how do you have a Google account? Well, so click on go to console. Go to console. Click on go to console. So this is my Firebase console. Yours might be blank or might not. So I have three projects here. So we're gonna click on add new project. I'm gonna just name this test. Click on continue. You can disable and enable that. No, you don't need that. Just default account for Firebase. Yes. Ah. So it's creating a project. So my project has been completely created. So it should redirect me to my Firebase where I have access to all the apps. So on the web, so click on web, add web app. I'm going to name this test. Firebase hosting, shall but just click it in case. Okay, you don't need Firebase hosting. I'm just going to click on next. And these are Firebase configurations. So copy. Just click on the copy icon. Come to our blank index or HTML file and paste. So now we have access to all the Firebase stuff, all Firebase libraries. So click on continue to console, and then we have that app. Click on storage. So don't forget, please subscribe and help me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because you will subscribe to somebody you want to learn something from. Click on get started and we're going to change it. Just click on next, next, done. Then we have created our default Firebase storage bucket, which you can attach files to. So once you have, it has been created, you're going to see no files here. So you could upload a file from here, but zero, 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 no. We don't want to find want to be doing it from the front end. Click on the rules tab over here. So this means they are restricting anyone to your Firebase app. It defines how somebody can be how access is getting to your Firebase app. So what this means right now is it's gonna add, people have to be authenticated before you have to be able to upload files to the cloud storage. But we're not using the Firebase authentication. So just for development, we can clear this, and this only means that the person, if the person only have your database reference that's when the person can read and write but the person doesn't have that so we click on publish oh clear this column just click on just allow read and write i'm going to undo this and show you clear here don't forget to clear the semicolon just publish so the rules are correctly published click on the file start back so what we want to do is that we have access to the Firebase storage kit right here. So instead of analytics or JS, change this to storage the JS. Okay. So I'm gonna click on I'm gonna open this index.html file in the browser. Open in the browser. So the file has been open in, in the browser. So we click, click on expect.
Click on console. So when we say find this on analytics, clear this off. We do not need analytics for this development test. So I, I made a blank in the JS file. Yeah, I made a blank index the JS file. So if you refresh, you're not supposed to get any errors. So what I we're gonna add another instance to not get the okay. I'm not playing chess right now. Man. Five minutes to the video and one six eight now five it. So we just say constant storage is equal to be storage. So I'm gonna select that button. So I'm gonna say btn dot add event listener. I hope you are in, I hope you understand everything if you don't understand or you have problems with no fabies. Just tell me in the comment section below and I will answer any of your comments. So we need to get that value of the input. What we need here don't select this outside select this inside has a reason why you say e dot target e dot tar tar get mm, we'll just say dot files of zero so if we console or log this let's console or log this save this so we just add a simple event listener and we select the input with the file of zero. Let's save this and if I choose a file, choose an image, click on submit. Oh yeah, let's refresh this. Save, refresh, choose a file, choose file, click on submit. You see, I get the file object and we have the name of the file, the size of the file and the type of the file. So now that we have our Firebase storage, okay, so we want to say storage, Firebase, I want to say storage, by the way, Firebase or storage, as I've done, storage, dot, put, file. So we want to put the file. So we say constant, we say, we call this in a variable called tax, because it, because it returns the tax. And we want to make another constant called Firebase constant dot ref attach on the dot ref. So we now say constant storage. We just say constant ref is going to be equal to Firebase. Let me turn to Firebase. Try this dot storage storage dot ref and we're going to the ref and I see file file dot name sorry input dot name so I just get in the ref so that we can get the download you and run and out so we're currently here so I wanna make some few changes to this layout so constant storage i'm going to drop this inside the event listener i want this won't work we need to make a reference we say image we say constant storage because the file is of storage your ref we make a reference right so say slash images slash because we want to make a new folder images and the way we make a new folder here you see we're adding a plus and we're putting the inputs so instead of making a new folder image, I'm just going to make one called files because you might have not, you might not be an image sometimes. Then we say constant tags for storage of puts. Yeah, so, so this reference right here, we want to put it, we want to put the file. So this returns a tax. That's why I started to make tax variable as I previously said. Uh, we put in the input. Then we say constant ref. We don't need 
yeah we say constant records to find the story dot input the name i will explain this later so this tax returns a change so say tax it returns a it's not like promise but it's a little bit different i will explain state we say state i can change comma then we put in three functions function one is the progress for this progress progress then so i'm just going to say something called a um, snap or you can call it whatever you want i call it snap this is a formula that i copy and paste so it says snap the by transfer divided by snap over total by times 100 so this will get you the percentage of how the file has been uploaded snap the by transfer is how the file has been transferred to the server snap the total byte is the total file size of the file put in a comma then say function again function error we should just carry the error we we'll just pass in the error the error then we we'll just say console.log error the message the message say console.log error the message then put in a comma for the last function function complete function completed completed you can name this function whatever you want but they are functions this is just their purpose this one is for the progress this one is for the errors and this one is for the completed so what you just want to just do is get the download url that's why i made this thing right here but is we're not gonna need this we're gonna use the storage there yeah. we're gonna use the storage here so we just say storage storage dot get download url it's gonna get the url from the server download url then url no returns a promise and when it turns the promise you can attach on the dot then method you can actually attach on the dot catch if you want to catch an error but i don't think there's going to be an error here so you can see attach on the dot so i'm just going to wait wait nope 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 we're just going to say let i'm going to select the body and i'm going to append an image picture this thing to it so say document for query selector query select the body So what I just did here is selected the body, body or HTML, which is gonna add an image tag, and I just pass in the URL with templates. Yeah, templates and put that dollar sign there if you're using the this thing. You can concatenate it. So if you save this now, refresh here, come to my console, choose a file. I'm gonna choose in this image click on submit so this is the progress of the file being uploaded it's uploading with 9 percent over 100 then 100 is successfully uploaded so storage will get downloaded to is not a function we'll fix that in a second but if we come to our your this thing if we come to our storage bucket here you see the file has been uploaded but we, we're not successful getting the url because i spread my download url so if you see any folder called files here and we see the image that i just uploaded so it has successfully uploaded right ha huh. so, 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 so i know the prop the function here is is capital letter the url is capital letter so if you save this now we come to our documents we choose a file choose this image we submit that file so as it's uploading so it has finished uploading and we get the image here so the image is all messed up but because i did not give this a bit property 
start to eat this damage. This yep, this damage. So that was it. Please, please, please subscribe. I really need more subscribers and subscribe. And if you want to have some other videos like this front end mentor, new card front end mentor in 30 minutes, you can learn that. I teach bootstrap, I teach materialize, I have another front end mentor and some JavaScript projects like the simple age calculator in two minutes. So that's it. Um, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the very next tutorial. I hope you understand everything and just for a thorough I'll go through this we get this is the progress function, this is the error function complete, the get download URL, do a visiting app then this now is simple and I hope you understand everything. So that's it and I'll catch you in the very next tutorial.